Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video, so I'm sure you guys have missed my voice. Yeah anyways, um, so I wasn't really active on 2k because the game is dead, I'm sorry. I was uploading these mixtapes, I hope you guys enjoyed those. But right now, um, I got an idea. So since free agency is pretty much over. Uh, I decided, you know, why not simulate the next season? Um, I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually, while playing 2K, you can go and see some guys like that make uh, rosters, and there is this guy that made a 2K20 roster. So I downloaded it, um, started my league. As you can see, I'm just setting up some options here, and yeah, I'm gonna simulate the whole season. So yeah, we're gonna see if 2K can actually predict what's gonna happen next season or if there's gonna be some bullshit. But yeah, let's hop right into it. So first of all, I'm gonna simulate it until like um, the beginning of January, just so we can see like where the season is at. I'd say that's about middle. No, the middle is when the All-Star Weekend is, but whatever. Um, so you can see this this calendar is for the 76ers and This is not really accurate because like I couldn't make all the injuries Like I didn't want to go over all the injuries that are currently active and set it up on every player But you know this is 2k um, Like everything is possible here. So yeah, let's see what's gonna happen um, the 76ers have a great record right now um, and also I'm really liking the idea that right now there are no super teams in the NBA there's just gonna be like these duos um, let me know in the comment section guys uh, who do you think is gonna win the championship who do you think is gonna win the MVP award and everything but yeah now we have finished the half of the simulation now let's go to the standings, so 76ers are first, Brooklyn Nets are second, Raptors third, um, the Bucks are fourth, Orlando Magic is fifth, Indiana Pacers are sec uh, sixth, I think, yeah, uh, Cavaliers are seventh and Hornets are eighth, those, those are the playoff contenders, I'm surprised that not even Celtics or Pistons are in the playoff picture but here we have Clippers, Rockets, Lakers Thunder okay so I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be a lot of BS in this video since Th Thunder is in the playoffs and they could barely make it with Westbrook and Paul George but while Chris Paul is there they're making the playoffs perfect um, now I'm interested in the league leaders, so Curry is first, Booker is second, okay, Irving is third, Lillard fourth, Trey Young is fifth, oh my god, like, this game is just, I don't know what to say man, it's just funny. Now I'm just gonna go through some of the teams to just see if somebody uh, like important is injured, we can see Kevin Love. Gordon Hayward, um, Lou Williams, but they're still first, so John Morant is actually leading in the points per game for the Grizzlies. Um, and also guys, make sure like uh, the ratings are not really that accurate on this roster, but whatever. Yeah, uh, I'm really liking the Nets right now. They are standing pretty well on the East. Zion is actually injured. Um, that's accurate. You can see the Houston is actually doing pretty well with the way we can harden, but it's still a very game. So we're gonna see everything in real life. Now let's simulate until the end of the season. I'm actually really excited to see all these teams just adjust to their new team, like not new teams but new players 
and the playstyle is gonna probably change. The only thing that's not gonna probably change is Houston. Like, I don't know why they're forcing that type of play, but whatever. No, I didn't show you all the players, so I'm just gonna show you some others right here. Young is averaging 25 points per game. I don't know what to say. Um, the Knicks, not special. Lakers are balanced. I like, I expected honestly to for Davis to like have a lot of points per game. And he probably is gonna have a lot of points per game in real life, but this is 2K. So Nets are first right now. Uh, the Sixers were first. The Bucks are still in third. Um, but I'm just not sure how is the Thunder in the playoffs. Um, makes no, and the Pelicans, like they are, they are. Uh, I think too young. They have a chance, of course, but I don't know. We're gonna see. Like, look at this. I mean, Chris Paul, Gallinari, and Schroeder are averaging. Uh, all three of them are averaging over 20 points per game, which is weird. In my opinion, uh, no, just simulate everything. Like I played my career like the past month, and I was in. I played on the Timberwolves, and I was in the finals against Orlando Magic. How does that even happen? It makes no sense, but I don't know how it works. Like pretty much the next season, uh, you don't really know who's gonna be the winner, but we're gonna see everything. So the awards now, MVP is Giannis back to back. Wow, only 24 points per game. I don't know. Rookie of the year, John ja Morant. I actually expect that to happen and not actually Zion. Giannis actually got defensive player of the year too. Sixth man was Schroeder, most improved player is Nurkic, and coach of the year is Doc Rivers. Their record is pretty solid, 63-19. What is this? All NBA first team, Jamarant, Zion Williamson, and Jokic. Whatever, like, <laughs> the All NBA second team is 10 times better than the first team, but 2K is just on Zion says, I don't know. Makes no sense to even <laughs> look at all the all these others because like John Rand and Zion Williamson are all on, on the all NBA first team. So now you can see all these matchups. And this could be pretty interesting to the playoffs. The Thunder actually made it to the playoffs. Wow. The Clippers are first and they're facing the New Orleans. Um, what else is interesting? Milwaukee, Charlotte, nothing special. Toronto, Orlando. But they don't have Kawhi now, so... I don't know. Yeah, I think it's time to simulate it. So, I'm gonna simulate round by round since I can't go game by game. Let's see who gets eliminated first. Golden State Warriors have been eliminated by Denver Nuggets. I'm just gonna skip through all these, so we're gonna see the second round. So the Thunder eliminated the Houston Rockets. Wow. Well, what can I say here? Like, it's gonna be okay if Thunder is not if Thunder is under the 10th seed, it's gonna be great. I'm not sure if they're gonna even keep Chris Paul, but obviously he's dominating here. Um, New Orleans and eliminated the Clippers. Okay, so this makes no absolutely no sense, but all right. Um, yeah, Lakers beat the Thunder. New Orleans beat Denver. Nice. 
Brooklyn gets beat by Milwaukee, yeah that's pretty possible and Philadelphia beats the Orlando Magic. Now let's simulate this round. So who's gonna make it to the finals first? Yeah, it's the Sixers and the Lakers. So I, in my opinion, this is pretty possible. Like, I think out of the West, it's either gonna be the Lakers, the Clippers, maybe Rockets, I don't know. Like, I give a chance to everybody, but like, Thunder, really, makes no sense, but all right. Now, all, all we have left is these two teams. We gotta simulate the finals. Let's see who's gonna win it all, who's gonna be the new champion of the NBA, and who's gonna be the finals MVP. Okay, that wasn't fun at all. Lakers just swept the 76ers and Anthony Davis is the finals MVP. I think this has a high chance of happening. Like, it's either, if the Lakers win it, it's either gonna be Davis or LeBron. But like, I think LeBron is gonna be focusing more on the assists next season, not the points per game because he has such great teammates. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, and if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.